Hey friends, now that you've found a great renter partner who happens to have a pet, let's talk about what that looks like in regards to your lease and protections for you as the landlord. There's kind of three different ways to go about that. The first is a pet deposit, the second is a pet fee, and the third is pet rent. So let's talk real quick, what's the difference between a pet deposit and a pet fee? Well, by definition, deposits are typically refundable fees are not. So if you're intending on that to be non-refundable, I like to write it as a pet fee to avoid any confusion at the end. The other is a pet rent. And that is a fee that the tenant pays every single month in addition to their rent for the privilege of having their pet in your property. So let's talk about typical fees, how much that is. For that pet deposit slash fee, standard what I typically see is about $250 for that. That can be per pet or it can be for the whole lot of them. I will say if you are charging per pet and they have multiple pets, it may price them out a little bit, but you also want to protect yourself against multiple pets. So you want to find a happy medium there that works for you and you're comfortable as well as works for the renter. But again, those fees are negotiable and it's up to you. As far as a pet rent, again, negotiable. Typically what I see is around $25 per month. Now, if it's a bigger animal and you have concerns, you may want to bump that up. But again, you want to be concerned, careful about pricing out great renters. The other thing that I will say is people ask me, can I charge a pet deposit slash fee and pet rent? Again, that's up to you, but it's not uncommon. And I see that fairly often where they will charge a pet deposit slash fee in addition to the rent. The last thing I'll say about protecting yourself with pets, and I always recommend that you require your renters to get renter's insurance. And I think it's especially important on when they have a pet. You know, there's things that can go wrong. Uh, worst case, you know, the, the dog bites the neighbor. You want the renter's insurance to kick in there and take care of that. And you don't want that going against your homeowners or landlord policy there. So I recommend again, that especially with pets, you require uh, renter's insurance. But I'd love to hear what others are doing, what you're doing, what you're pricing at. Uh, leave a comment down below. I'd love to talk to you. Until then, rent easy and we'll talk soon.